Welcome to Credo Reference. Credo Reference is a database containing hundreds of credible reference sources like dictionaries, encyclopedias, and atlases. It's much like Wikipedia, except that you can be reassured the information is coming from reliable sources. Credo Reference is a great place to do pre-search. Pre-search is the kind of research you do in order to get background when you are starting a research paper or project. Credo is a great place to go when you don't know anything about your topic or if you simply need to know more about your topic. Perhaps you have a paper on William Shakespeare, but all you know about him is that he wrote a few plays like Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. Let's do a simple search on William Shakespeare to see what we can find out about him. In order to do that, I'll type William Shakespeare into the search bar. And hit search. You can see that we've gotten several results from different resources, like the Hutchinson Unabridged Encyclopedia with Atlas and Weather Guide, and the Bridgman Art Library Archive. But many of these entries look like they're just images, like a portrait of Shakespeare or a picture of Shakespeare's birthplace. We need to know more information about Shakespeare's life and background. If we look over on the left side of the page, right here, we can see that there are options for narrowing our search. Let's check out the entry type biography. If we click on the plus sign, we can see that we have options to narrow our results by a long biography and brief biography. Let's see what they have for us in long biographies. Now you can see we only have results that are limited by long biography right here at the top. Let's click on the entry a couple down from the Continuum Encyclopedia of British Literature. As you can see, this is a nice long entry that gives us lots of information about Shakespeare. It's got his birth and death date at the top and names of his plays and poems. Poems right here. And even some plays and the dates of their performances. What makes this entry even more useful is the information down at the bottom. At the bottom of the entry, there's a bibliography that shows you where this entry got all its information. This not only lends credibility to the entry, but it gives us some ideas of resources we can go to to get even more information in depth about Shakespeare for our paper. And if you click on the SFX button right next to the source, you can see if we carry that resource in our library. Finally, if you need to cite an entry from Credo in your own bibliography, check out the citation box at the very bottom of the entry, right here. Um, this allows you to automatically format a citation in any of the styles provided, like APA, Chicago, Harvard, and MLA. Just make sure to check the citation against the necessary style guide as computer-generated references often have mistakes. These are just some of the basics that Credo Reference has to offer. Feel free to ask a reference librarian at the Rupert Giles Library for more information on using this and other available databases. Happy searching!